Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today is gonna be a little different here on the farm. Because I actually got a lead on some old antique tractors. Um, so there was this old farmer, and apparently he just left them in the woods. So we're gonna go pick up a trailer and we'll take a look at them. So let's head off, let's start getting on the road and head down to the dealership to pick up our new trailer. We got up earlier than we usually do today to get ready to head out earlier so we can get to these tractors easier because they're all kind of on a road. I don't know how they're still there, but... Let's pull right into the dealership here, and we're going to go around back to pick up our brand new trailer. Now this trailer did cost me a bit of money, but I think it's going to help out the farm a lot if we need to bring equipment places or just whatever. It's attached to this trailer, and we can head out to go find this equipment. And of course it started raining, so, but that doesn't stop us. We're going to take a left turn at this stop sign. There is nobody here, so we're just gonna go. I believe we are gonna take a turn here and start heading down this narrow road. And then we're gonna go down this road here. Quite a sketchy road to get there, but if the equipment is how the guy said it is, it's going to be well worth it. I think I start to see shapes of tractors up there. This must be it. So it does look like they have quite a few old tractors. One so old it even has steel wheels. This thing is cool. So we're gonna pull up a little more and unfold the wheels of our trailer. So we can Try to see if these tractors start to light up. So Ford, first off, is an old Ford tractor. This thing looks super cool, it has a three point attacher. This can work a lot around the farm. Let's see if it runs. Come on. It wants to go. There we go. Wow, she started. Let's 
the next one we have is an old Ferguson tractor. This thing is pretty cool. I always like these things. Let's see if we can get front loaders for them. Let's see if it starts. There we go. So we're gonna put this thing into reverse and back it up. Let's go for metal tire track. We're actually gonna back this track the right up onto our trailer. And I think we're actually going to move the Ford back up. We have room, and we're just going to take these two. And come back to get the steel wheeled one, because that tractor is really heavy. Dodge is way too heavy. So it looks like we're gonna have to unload the forts and just take it one at a time. Sometimes I've gotta remember that this truck is only a 1500. It's not the biggest truck in the way. I've been thinking about trading the truck in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If I should trade it in, if I should keep it, or if I should just get a new truck. Let me know. This load is just a little t too heavy for the truck, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop that off. We're kind of going to cut through this field right here, down through here. This used to be a road, but they stopped taking care of it, and it's all over here, and it continues down by the dealership. But this truck just doesn't have the power to pull those tractors, so we're going to go back and we're going to grab a tractor from the farm. We are pulling up to the farm right now. We're going to pull right over to the building. We're going to jump into our Keith International 3588. This truck is really cool. I really haven't used it on the farm yet, and I'm looking forward to using it. But I figured this would be the perfect track to pull this trailer. If it wasn't raining, I would use like the um, 5020 or the 4440, but those trackers are open station, and I don't feel like getting wet. So, we're just going to go with a closed cabin in action. Looks like we got a little hung up on the perch there, but we got to it.
it's just easy to you know, pull our trailer back down there now that we have some good power at our national. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Let's put it into a higher gear. Now it seems to be going along a lot better. I think now that we're using the tractor on our next load, I think we're going to try to grab both the last two tractors. If you guys like the video and enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to, comment your favorite part of the video down below. I will be reading all comments and responding. Now it does look like we're getting towards mid-spring, so we're going to have to finish up our cultivating and plowing soon, so we can get ready to start planting. Can't wait till planting season. As you guys saw, I already planted the garden in the first video, but I think it's almost time to start planting the actual fields. I'm having a little trouble turning into the yard here. Fun well, enough in the case to about that. I accidentally hit my mic quick. So let's head right up here, right back up the hill so we can grab our last two tracks. probably have someone come in and take a look and tell us what kind of tractor this is. 
So let's hop up inside this thing and see if it starts. Wants to, that's a good sign. Come on. These things are old, but they do start. Now I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever you do, and I will be back on the next one, bye!